Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. Today in this tutorial session, we will see the installation of MySQL Server 8.0.20 on Mac OS X Catalina. This process is very simple and straightforward. Let's get it started. First, go to the description of this video tutorial and copy this link. This is the download link of MySQL Server. Open your favorite browser, go to the address bar and paste in the address bar, then hit enter. This is the official download link of MySQL Server. And then you will be landed on this page and you can see the heading MySQL Community Downloads and uh, this is the community version and which is all free. So we are going to download for the Mac OS X. So in the drop down, we, the Mac OS is selected. And the most important point is we are going to install this Mac this uh, MySQL server on 10.15 which is compatible with the Mojave 10.14 so basically for the Catalina and Mojave this version of MySQL server is compatible so you can proceed with this then uh, in this list we have our target package that we have to download this is the disk image the MG file and uh, the size is 379.5 MB and uh, there's a download button so we have to click this button once then you will be redirected on the new new page so mysql community wants you to log in or sign up for a free account if you sign up so you will get some more uh, information from the google time to time notification updates bug tracking uh, bug fixing reports and uh, you can have the access of the mysql discussion forums if you don't want just go to this link no thanks just start my download so click on this link once and your downloading will be started you can see on the left corner dmg file is started downloading so the size is 380 mb for saving the time i have already downloaded a one dmg file so once your downloading is finished so you have to just launch that I have downloaded and this DMG file I have placed here in the separate folder. So once you got this, so just double click on this file. So this is the disk image and which will be mounted on a virtual drive. So then once you double click on this, you will see this progress bar. So disk image is mounted and then this uh, package will appear. So the MySQL uh, is in the form of .pkg file. So we have to launch this pkg file. This has a setup inside. So just double click on this to launch the .pkg. Or you can say we ha have just launched the installer. So this such kind of progress bar will appear. And suddenly you will see this message. So don't worry about this message. This message is coming because we have downloaded this .pkg file from the MySQL website. So the Mac security system not allowing it to install. So we have to go to the preferences. There we have to grant the permission to install. So go to the Apple icon, click on the system preferences and thus this system preferences window will appear and here we have to go to the security and privacy there's an icon so just double click on it and the security and privacy pan will appear and we have to unlock to enter inside then uh, this window will ask for you uh, admin password give the admin password and reach inside keep it open and go to this uh, error message click on the ok once you click the ok the notification will be sent right to this window mysql 8.0 the package was blocked because it is not downloaded from the identified developer okay so click on open anyway so this is secure because uh, this is downloaded from the trusted sources and again you will see the message 
so again click on the open and close the security and privacy window that's it after that you will suddenly see uh, the installation window the very first installation window and uh, we have to grant the permission click continue the very first screen of the installation is appeared introduction so there are some online resources or a few things click continue this is the license agreement page so if you want to read it just go, th go through it in the last click on this continue once you click the continue it will ask you for the agree or disagree so we have to click on this agree button okay then we moved to the next step installation type and the size required is 1710.3 MB so make sure you have the sufficient space and once you click the continue and uh, it will again ask for the admin password in admin access so click install software and finally installation procedure started it is extracting the mysql database uh, files and uh, dumping in your uh, drive and setting up and configuring the mysql server db server after that this will reach at the configuration uh, step so here it is suggesting that you have to provide a very strong password for the mysql So there are some suggestion so no need to change anything click next and finally you will reach at this my configure mysql server here it is asking to set a password for the root user guys please make sure you are giving the password and the same password will be used in the later stages so please note down this password that you have given at this place okay and there's a one more checkbox right there so if you uncheck this so your mysql server will not be suddenly start and you have to manually start if you have some kind of situations you don't want to start so you can select or you can uncheck it and again final stage it will again ask for the admin password give the admin password for the proper configuration of mysql server and initialization this step will take a few more seconds and finally you will reach at this place the installation was completely successful and finally close this window your installation is done and mysql server database server is running but how you will know that so you can check your server is running or not so you have to go here in the apple icon go to the system preferences again and this system preferences window will appear and uh, you will see a lot of things go just downside and you will see mysql icon so just click on it and mysql control window will appear so here you can see on the left hand side and the right hand side two tabs so the configuration tab showing you the lot of things so error log directory location plugin directory location data directory location base directory locations all stuff is there so you can check and in the instances you can see on the left hand side green dot is appearing that means your server is running and here's the option to stop the server once you click on this button your server will be stopped so i just clicked on and again this admin password is required so i have given the admin password now you can see the state is red that means the SQL server has stopped now so again we have to start just click on this button and again the status is green now and there's one more option the checkbox if you want that your mysql server will start when you start start up your computer okay so you can uh, remain this checkbox checked otherwise if you will uncheck so you have to come at this place and you have to start your mysql server manually and there's a one more button uninstall if in such case you don't want anything the mysql server completely uninstall so just click on that button so guys this is the whole setup for the mysql server 8.20 installation of mac os x catalina and this mysql db server is all yours so do x
more exploration on this and start your development and guys uh, i hope you found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and subscribe our channel to appreciate our work i will bring more useful videos for you and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help